This is KY4BDP. Welcome back for our Hamvention 2022 coverage. This time we drop by the Aero Antennas booth and we speak to Tim about some antennas that we might use at next year's gravel rally with a little bit more directionality instead of using Omni. Apologies up front, our camera stabilization seemed to go off kilter. We're at the Aero Antenna yeah, booth and we're with Tim. And what's the call sign, Tim? KB7MDF. Nice to meet you, Tim. Nice to meet you. Uh, we were just talking a little bit off camera that we just did a rally event. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we're considering are different antennas than what we used in the last rally. And Aero Antenna does really great work in a couple of different models of antennas that might be a little bit more directional. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, for um, what you're talking about, a rally, uh, we talked about the corner reflectors, Yogi's. Uh, it just depends on what you need as far as uh, how much offset the load you're willing to tolerate on your rotor. And uh, for the Yogi's, cause or, I'm sorry, for the corner reflectors, they have more offset load. Uh, they have better phase noise. They're better for digital communications in general. Uh, about 10 dB over a dipole front to back or gain, right. and about 40 dB front to back ratio. Nice. So they're they got really pretty specs. Uh, they're the Cadillac of antennas. It's too bad they haven't become more popular in ham radio, but it's mostly I think because they they don't balance like a Yagi does on a rotor, you know. So either a offset weight or and a, a, a rotor that's pretty tough. Okay. Yeah. And what were the models of those corner reflectors that uh, we might be interested we in? We have a at? corner reflector for two meters, one for 440, one for 220, and we have a dual bander for two meters and 440. And roughly, what's the price range for some of those? Oh, I apologize, I don't have that off the top of my head. They're going to be uh, a couple hundred probably for the dual bander. I'd have to look. Right. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. And it, let's say let's say the corner reflectors may be overkill for what we're wanting to do. What would be maybe an arrow alternative to that? Well, for a rally like that, you're not going to want a permanently mounted antenna. You're going right. to want a temporary Yogi. And so the uh, all of our arrow uh, style antennas would be your choice for that sort of thing. Uh, 146.3 has three elements on two meters. The 146.4 has four elements on two meters. This one would mount on a temporary mast, which would be what you do for your rally, more or less. Uh, these can mount on a tripod. The three element ones that have a hand, there's a quarter 20 threaded hole underneath the foam handle grip to mount that on a tripod. So you've got a few options. We have mounting brackets to mount these on a um, mast. And they're temporary uh, mounting brackets to just unscrew with wing nuts. We utilize drive-on masks for a number of the locations. Oh, sure. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, that's that's the basic story, though. And then, of course, we have Omnis if you need them. Ground planes and J-poles. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, thanks for giving us a little bit of your time today. No problem. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Nice talking have to you. Have a good day. Thanks. Thank you.